Quite possibly the most interesting and unusual cocktail in the Death of Company book is the Julius Orange. When I was a kid, I remember figuring out a secret ingredient of the Orange Julius, which is just vanilla, and then making it at home. It's pretty simple, orange juice, milk, vanilla, and ice. What makes this version so unique is it's subbing out the orange juice and instead using two ounces of Pierre Ferrand dry curacao as the base of this drink. The drink was first created in 2012 by Brad Ferran, and for this one, you'll need orange bitters, heavy cream, vanilla syrup, lemon juice, an aged rum, and Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. The book does call for Crujan barrel aged, but any aged Puerto Rican or Spanish heritage style rum will do. While two ounces of this orange liqueur is very distinct in flavor, if you don't have Pierre Ferrand, the closest would be Grand Marnier, but anything like Cointreau would be very different. We're gonna build this in a small shaker tin, one dash of the Death of Company House Orange Bitters, half an ounce of heavy cream, one teaspoon of vanilla syrup, half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of Crujan single barrel rum, two ounces of Pierre Ferrand dry curacao. Many of the Death of Company drinks that call to be served on crushed or nugget ice call for a short shake, it's just a quick shake, and we're just using three ice cubes, just a size ice cube to get out of your normal kitchen refrigerator. Strain it into a rocks glass over some nugget ice. And garnish with nutmeg. All right, let's try the Julius Orange. Uh, I've never had this one before, so I'm very excited to try this. So unusual, it just has this like different dimension because that orange liqueur is so intensified. You're getting some of the lemon juice to cut through it, the rum, uh, not so much. It's it's really good. It's just so different. And I said this recently to the uh, Make and Drink Discord uh, happy hour. Uh, if you, the smell and the taste of a heavy amount of an orange liqueur, especially in an aged orange liqueur, uh, your Pierre Ferrand's, your Grand Marnier's, they have this uniquely distinct smell and taste of chocolate Tootsie Rolls. So uh, if you have a bottle nearby, go grab it real quick, take a little smell, you'll uh, you'll never forget it. So that's like really stuck in my mind. And that's, that flavor is just so much more intense than it normally is in a cocktail when you're using, you know, a quarter to a half an ounce of an orange liqueur. It's very good, it's very different. I like how unique and fun it is. If you have a bottle of Pierre Ferrand uh, and you like those flavors and you like an Orange Julius, I'd say try it. I don't totally get Orange Julius, but I think that this might be a great opportunity to use something like an orange liqueur, maybe an acid adjusted orange juice instead of lemon juice to kind of like bring in more of the like real orange flavor, which is super fun, super creative. And it's just like, you know, brings up like this, the saddest sort of thing about the death of American malls is that there's Really, no more Orange Julius is out there. I'm, I'm sure they exist, but not like they did in the 80s and 90s. So that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel. We have a Patreon if you want to check that out. Otherwise, see you on the next one.